Now I'm going to present this next question as a point of discussion because I think it's a very interesting topic. Hamidor uh, brought this to my attention in the Facebook group, which is that uh, Intel, as you know, purchased an FPGA chip maker. And we've been talking a lot about FPGAs in the context of simulating old game consoles and old computers. Software emulation has its limits, as those of you with a uh, Sony PlayStation Classic can attest. Uh, and there's something about running things in a simulated FPGA environment that brings more authenticity to the original hardware, yet being compatible with modern HD televisions. Two of my favorite products recently that uh, use that technology are the uh, analog consoles, their NES console and their SNES console. Great experiences, very little controller lag, but you get the benefit of a very clean HD signal coming out of those classic game consoles. And we're seeing now a whole new string of interest coming around FPGA technology in the open source world as well, uh, with the MISTER project that we'll be hopefully doing some more with in the coming weeks. And Commodore brought to my attention that there's actually a uh, Intel processor, a Xeon processor, that also has an FPGA integrated into it, which is really intriguing. As you know, Intel bought Altera a while back, and back in May, just recently, uh, they released this Intel Xeon processor that has the integrated FPGA, and Commodore sees this as something that uh, may be the future of computer chips, and that you can basically have hardware acceleration uh, for anything, and your chip doesn't need to have the hardware acceleration designed into it when it's first made. You can program it in uh, using an FPGA integrated into the die, like the Xeon processor, to get specific things to work in a faster fashion. And I can see this really becoming something if Intel uh, begins integrating it into consumer technology. Uh, one example of another type of chip like this is Intel's Altera Cyclone uh, SOC5 that's in this board that is the heart of the MISTER project. Uh, this has an ARM processor built into the FPGA on the same chip, essentially. Uh, so it boots up Linux inside that ARM core, and then it's able to drive the uh, FPGA from that. Now it looks like there's an actual desktop processor that's got the same uh, kind of thing built in. So this is kind of cool. I'd love to see where this goes. I'd love to hear from some of you who have some uh, interest and experience in FPGAs about uh, what this chip might mean for the future. Uh, it's been out for a little bit and none of us even knew about it. Uh, so this is kind of fun. So take a look at the article there on screen and comment down below. And again, hopefully soon we'll get to this mister once I've had some time to put it all together. It's just been a busy month with a lot of new products coming out to review. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Gerard Newberg, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.